Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. Today, I will be taking a deep dive into the world of the PE Civil Exam, specifically tackling those pesky conceptual questions that can leave even the brightest minds scratching their heads. So if you're gearing up for the PE Civil Exam, or if you're just curious about what it takes to navigate the world of civil engineering concepts, well, then you are in the right place. This Pass the PE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. The PE civil exam has two components, the breath session and the depth session. While everyone tackles the same breath questions, you choose your depth topic. Options range from geotechnical and transportation to water resources, environmental, structural, and construction. Conceptual questions are the real deal here. They don't require extensive calculations. Instead, they really test your grasp of the subject matter. Now, they can be quick if you know your stuff, but they might trip you up if you're less familiar. Expect these questions mainly in the breath session, but the depth session may throw a few curveballs as well. Here are four tips for acing these conceptual curveballs. Tip one, become a generalist. You don't need to be a wizard in every topic, but a general understanding is key. Know the basics, like distinguishing between clay and sand, or understanding critical path in construction schedules. These fundamentals will be your lifeline. Tip number two, use high-level reference materials. There are a number of high-level reference materials available that can be helpful for preparing for the PE civil exam. These materials can provide you with a good overview of the topics on the exam, as well as help you to understand the underlying concepts which you will need to know to make things easier and faster. Tip number three, know your definitions. Civil engineering has its own language, and you might encounter unfamiliar terms. Conceptual questions often require you to define key terms. It is important to know where to find definitions for these terms, such as in the NCAAS PE Civil Reference Handbook. Tip number four, time management. Time is your most valuable resource on the exam. If a conceptual question feels like a roadblock, don't get stuck. Read it, move on, and let your subconscious work on it while you tackle other questions. Come back to it later when your mind has had a chance to process it. It is also important to practice answering conceptual questions. You want to do as many as you can. There are a number of practice exams and review courses available that can help you prepare for the PE civil exam. For example, PPI, a Kaplan company, our sponsor, has a great review course. Now, by practicing answering conceptual questions, you'll become more comfortable with the format and those types of questions. And when you see them in the exam, they'll just be easier. Remember, every question carries equal weight and there's no penalty for incorrect answers. So make sure you tackle every question before your time runs out. I'm confident in you. If you follow these tips, you'll do great. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I'll read them and respond to them. Let me know if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover or a question that you need answered past the PE exam will have you covered. So go ahead, put your comments in right now, and I'll see you next week on past the PE exam.